Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video we'll study about a scenario in Azure Data Factory of comparing file names at the source, destination and target destination and then copying the files which are missing at the destination and then copying the files which are present in the source and not present in the destination. First we have to compare, get the files which are not present in the target and then copying those files at the destination. So let me just show you the scenario. Here we have our source ADLS account in which we are inside a container and this is the destination. Destination. Here inside a container, we have few files. Let's say file one, file two, file three, file four. And here we have some files. Let's say file FF1, FF2, FF3. And we have, let's say F2, F3. Okay. So these two files, F2 and F3 from the source already exist here in the destination. And upon comparison, like manual comparison, we could see that F1 and F4 are not present here, okay, in the destination. So we'll compare first, find the files which are missing in the destination, that is F1 and F4, and we'll be copying this file to the destination. So that we'll see after the execution of the pipeline, F1 and F4 also in the destination. So how we will accomplish this? We'll use few activities of ADF to perform the comparison and then copying of the files. So let's go to the Azure portal and see the source and the destination folder. Here we are in the portal inside storage account cloud knowledge. Okay. Cloud knowledge is the source in which we have different containers and we'll focus on the container backpack export. This backpack export has few files here. You can see five files are present here and this will be treated as our source cloud knowledge storage account. That is the ADLS Gen 2 where we have the container backpack export. Okay. Next, we will go to the other tab and we'll go to the storage account called as CK ADLS Gen 2 test. This account has exported backpack container. We'll open that. And this container also holds some files. You can see here six files present. Okay. And manually, if we see department employee, export virus, sample student, among all these files, which all are present here, sample student department is present here. Three extra files are there, which we are not focusing on. We are only focused on copying the files, which are present at source and not present at destination. So if we manually compare, we have the file called as employee and export via REST file not present in the destination. Department, sample and student is present. Department, sample and student. Okay. So in our requirement, we'll be copying the two files employee.csv export via REST backpack in the destination. We'll compare and then we'll copy. So in order to do this, we'll go to the Azure Data Factory. So here we are in the EDF cloud knowledge and inside the author tab we are present. We'll click on the plus sign and create a new pipeline. So just click on creation of pipeline. Name this pipeline as compare copy files. So the pipeline is created. We will now add our first activity. So what should be the first activity? We have to first see the files which are present at this location. We have to get the list of all the files present at the source and the destination so that we can compare. So we have to get the list of files which are present at the source container as well as the destination container so that we can compare it. And to connect to a container and get the list of files, we have get metadata activity. This activity we have already studied in the playlist of ADF activities. So go through it if you're not already aware of it. We'll go back here. And under the general section, we can find the get metadata activity. We'll take that in the canvas. Okay. And here in the name, we'll write it as get metadata for the source. Okay. This is for source so that we can distinguish. Then we'll go to the settings section of it. We'll connect to the data set. We'll click on plus new. Our data lies inside storage into account. We'll click continue. 
delimited text. Continue. We'll write it as source data set of the compare files. Just copy and then link service will select. The link service for that storage account already exists. So we'll select ADLS storage gen 2. If it's not there, you just create a link service. Then let's browse to the folder location, which is inside the backpack export. So we'll select this backpack export and we could see the same files, same five files. Just click OK. Leave the rest of the settings as is. Click OK. Now this is done. Next is field list. In get metadata activity, after selecting the data set, you have to select the field list. We'll click on plus new and select the argument. Argument is child items. So we'll select child items. Why we've selected? Because inside this folder, we want to list the files present here. We'll go back. The settings of the get metadata source is done. Next, we'll add another get metadata activity and we'll connect to the destination that is this folder location exported backpack which has six files so that we can compare both the containers the content of the containers so we'll go back here and we'll add another get metadata activity so take another one into the canvas and this time it should be named as get metadata destination or target you can name it as per your choice then we'll connect to the data set this time we'll connect to the destination that is the target folder location. So just select the format, write it as, this time make it as, just rename it to destination dataset for compare files. And for that destination storage account, we already have linked service. So we'll just connect to the linked service. If it doesn't exist, create one. Exported backpack is the container. We'll select up to this container level. We'll not select any file. Okay. Mind it. And click OK. This is done. Click OK. Now, here also, after selecting the data set, we have to select the field list. We'll click on plus new. Among the argument list, we'll select child items. Okay. So this is done. Let's validate the mapping up to this level. It's validated and click on debug. We can see in the output source has completed and destination is in progress. Let's click on refresh. Both completed. Let's see the source output. In the output, if you open it, it shows up the different file names which are present in the source folder. Okay, department, employee, sample, student and export via REST. Looks fine. If you open the destination here also, the files which are present in the destination will appear up. Okay six files were present. This is done. Now we have to compare the files which are present in both. So for comparison or filtering of the files, we will use filter activity, which is present inside iteration and conditional section. So from this section, just take the filter activity in the canvas. Now we'll connect the output of the get metadata source and the get metadata destination to this filter. Source and destination are now connected to the filter activity. We'll click on filter activity, filter. Let's say we name it as filter files. We'll go to the settings section of it. Here, first option is input array on which filter should be applied. In our case, the input array is the source, source child items, which we have got through get metadata source. So here we'll click on add dynamic content and from the activity output list, we'll select get metadata source child items. List of subfolders and files in the given folder. So we'll select that. It will show up get metadata source dot output dot child items. Click OK. Now, second option is condition. This is important where we have to actually write the condition to be used for filtering the input. So again, we'll click on this and add dynamic content. Here we have to actually compare destination child items to source and our source items are coming from the filter files. That is the current item which is coming is the source and destination output is 
get metadata destination activity output. So it is activity output from here. That is the get metadata destination child items. And how we are going to compare it with a function called as contains. Okay, this is the function. So this is the function contains collection function. It returns true if dictionary contains a key, list contains value or string contains substring. Okay, so we'll make use of this contains function. So we'll select contains. In the contains, in this function, we have to give the first and the second argument. The first argument will be the destination get metadata activity output. So we'll select from the drop down here get metadata destination child items. Okay, then in this child items, we have to compare the filter iterator the item which is coming from the source one by one we have to compare so we will select filter files item okay so what we are doing is at the destination location if among these files at the destination this current item which is coming from the source is present or not if it contains or not okay so contains will get the ones which are already present and we have to get those files which are not present hence before this contains we will add not okay not and we'll close here the braces not will make what will not do it will check whether an expression is false it was checking the files which are present and we have to get the files which are not present hence we are adding not here the pipeline expression here is done for the filter activity click okay now we'll again perform a debug run to see if we are getting the proper output or not. Let's wait. Click on refresh. All three succeeded. We know the outputs from the source and destination. Let's focus on the filter files. That is the third activity. If we open up, we could see that the initial count was five and the filtered items are employee.csv and export virus dot backpack. This is what we needed. We have compared all the items and we got to know that yeah, these two files are not present. Now we have compared the files. Next job is to copy these files which have come through the filter activity, these two to the destination. For copying, we have to iterate through these files which are coming from the filter activity and then copy it using the copy activity. So for iteration, we'll use for each activity. We'll take that in the canvas connect the filter activity output to for each and then go to the for each activity. We'll click over for each activity, go to the setting section of it, make it sequential and then in the items we'll add the dynamic content. In for each, the output is coming from the filter activity that is the previous activity. So among the activity outputs, you can see filter activity output. If you click over it, it will give you the output from the filter activity. But important point to note is that if you go to the output section to the output from the filter files here, it gives the output as complete JSON. We have to get the output which is present inside the value array. Okay, that is the name and time. So in order to get that, we have to go to the for each and we have to select from the output value okay because if we do not add value and execute we'll get error we'll add value okay the output from the previous filter activity which is present inside the value array so we have given from the previous activities output take the value array and add the next step which is the copy operation so we'll just click on edit inside we are now inside for each activity and we'll add from the move and transform copy data activity. Copy missing files. We'll go to the source section of it and we have to create the data set. In order to connect to the data set, we'll connect to the source location and then parameterize the file name so that the files which are coming from the previous activity, filter activity would come one by one and get copied to the destination. So click on plus new and then select ADLS delimited text.
source we'll just paste the name and add parameterized link service is the source one so storage into browse to the source location up to the backpack export container level click ok click ok and we will open this source data set we'll open and create a parameter over here so we'll create a parameter for the file name in the parameter section we'll go back to the connections and we'll add here the dynamic content in the dynamic content we'll select the file name and then we'll go back to the pipeline. We could see the file name parameter created there in the data set appears here. We'll give the value here. Okay. We'll add the dynamic content and the value will be the one which is coming from the for each activity. That is the current item or the current file which has to be copied. So it will be item and item will be having name. So it will be item dot name, the name of the file to be copied. So the settings at the source data set level is done using the parameters and then the sync. So sync data set, we can use the same. So it will be destination data set compare files. Okay, this is done. Let's validate the mapping and perform a debug run. Click on debug. And we are in the output section of the pipeline. Let's wait for its completion. Click on refresh for each and copy missing files is in progress. One occurrence succeeded. Other one is queued. Let's click on refresh again. Both succeeded. It seems both files are copied. Had there been more files at the source level which are not present in the target, then there will be that many occurrences of copy activity execution here since they are just two we are seeing here two rows of copy missing files activity showing up now let's go to the target location the destination location container and we can see currently that there are six files if we click on refresh we could see the two new files copied from the source which were missing here yeah so we can see employee.csv and export via rest copied the modified date and time also we can see here. So this is how we have compared the files at the source and destination and copied the files which are missing at the destination and present at the source. To accomplish this, we have used get metadata activity, filter activity, for each and copy. Hope you have understood this video. Do let me know in comments if you have any queries. Thank you for watching. Happy learning. Bye.